Hi, it's Erin. Today I'm going to do a quick demo and honest review the StoryPress. StoryPress is the blog website. It caught my attention because I have so many WordPress sites. Sometimes the WordPress makes me really headache. There's a lot of headaches to manage multi different WordPress sites. You have to make sure all plugins and themes are updated, the latest version. So why not using StoryPress if the, the rank better on Google and also I can manage all the articles in one platform, then it'll be better than WordPress. So I wanted to try this out. Let me log into the StoryPress right now. If it's the first time to log in, then you are going to create new publication. So publication means is that this is the, the website. So I have created one blog website already. And you can create one by clicking create new publication. They're going to ask you publication name. So that's going to be test one to three and it hits create publication. And I'm going to skip invite your team section. It will take about a few seconds to be creating your blog website. So the first option, they're going to give you the I want to migrate an existing publication. I'm going to click that. They're going to give you two different options. The first one is WordPress. I'm migrating from WordPress. When you click it and click on go to our WordPress plugin page, you can download this plugin and then install it to your WordPress sites. Tried it, but I don't know why my website went really slow. So I wasn't able to do anything to migrating my articles and or export it. I had to disable this plugin, but as you can see, only 20 plus people are using this plugin and the version is 008, which is it's a brand new plugin. They have to testing all different plugins if it's a compatible with each other. But my WordPress sites, I have so many plugins installed and maybe the theme I'm using from a WordPress, it's kind of corrupting each other. So I haven't reported that issue with the story press team yet, but I'm going to do that later. The second option they gave us is to I'm migrating from another platform. So this time you need to install the Chrome extension and then you can add the URL and hit start. Another option is I want to manage my Shopify blog on StoryPress. You can go ahead and click it and you can connect your Shopify store to the StoryPress. The last one is I'm starting a new publication from scratch. So I'm going to click this one to show you. So immediately you're going to see this page. The first one's draft for review, reviewed and published. When you click three dots, this is where you can sort new stage, edit stage and delete stage. I'm going to click on delete stage. So we have a three now draft, reviewed and published. You can drag and drop to anywhere drafts or published. You can also click on this three dots, publish now, delete article or duplicate. So this is just um, example. So I'm going to delete article. When I tested yesterday, I, it was really confusing to me that they call it desks and here's a tutorial desk. I didn't know what that means, but that means is that this is a category. So basically when you click on this plus sign, you can create new category and subcategory. When you click on desk settings, this is where you can change the category name. So the first one, the default is the category tutorial desk. So I'm going to say test one. When you hit enter, you're going to see this here, discard or save. I'm going to save it and immediately it has changed the name here. So I created one category and when I click on this new desk and new sub, and this is the category I'm going to choose and I'm going to say test category. No, um, actually I'll just say two and create new desk. Now I have created one sub category. So this is how that works. So basically this one here, you can add an article by clicking new story under this category. When you click this here, or say create another article by clicking new story right here. I just changed the name to more clear to understand. So test one is going to be the category. This is sub category. I'm going to click a new story. And this is where you need to add a headline and sub. I would just say fun, just a random thing, a fun story press and discount today. I just added whatever, <laughs> whatever information. And then I'm going to click the new story. Now you can write your article. So the first one is going to be your, the feature image. You can upload it from your computer or you can choose from Unsplash. I'm going to click that and you can choose your image. 
that I'll say, I will say fun and I will just define something fun. I want to choose that one and then you can add an alt. As you can see, my headings and writings has been added here. And this is where you can add SEO. This is not featured or you can set up as a featured and this is author and this is the text. So I will say the fun is going to be my main keyword and I will just say copy and paste the fun and hit enter to add the text. And this is a permalink. So if you are not using your own domain name, then it's going to be show storypress.at slash post. This domain name right here and you can create your permalink if you want or if you leave as a blank as a default. Search title, you can add a search title. This is the, the example how it looks like. You can add a search description, the meta SEO meta description right here. And this is where you can add continue to add your articles. So by clicking this plus sign, header one, header two, this is the, the number, bullet points, quotes, divider, photo, gallery, bookmark, embed, unsplash images, or HTML. I really hope they add more headers. One and two, it's too limited. So I hopefully they have at least five headers. You can highlight it and you can see the here, the text, and that's going to be the heading two. You can also add a link by clicking this link here. If you want to make a comment, leave a comment and then you can click on this comments sign. When you click on the social sharing, here is the social title. We have a social description. So it shows that automatically post your article to your Facebook page and the Twitter. Your article will be saved automatically and it will show right here. This is undo and redo button right here. And this is the preview. So I'm going to click that and this is how that looks like. This is my subcategory name. This is the title. When we click on edit article designs, they have a few different styles. When I click on the first one, as you can see this A, the black background, the show right here. You can also take a look at the different sizes, devices, sizes, tablets, and also the mobile. And also here's a code. You can just click around and see which one's best for your article. Here is the blank page option. When you click that, this is where you can choose the template. This is the first design, second, and so on. And there is gear button here, the settings. You can click them and you can click on the front page. And this is where you can add your SEO title and also the description. SEO basic settings. We have open graph, custom code to the header and the body. If you want to add more new page, you can click on the new page. And I will say again, zero, 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 and hit enter. You can click on this gear button again to rename, duplicate, or delete. You can go to the open graph to enable this SEO or disable it. I couldn't find where I can add the external link to another, the website's URL, but actually this is the only thing I could find to add the menu. When you're done writing your articles, you can go to click on this publish button. Now it shows the SEO guidance, but I suggest you to just use another platform like such as Surfer, or if you are using the Neuron Writer, then actually these are a bit more better for the SEO parts. So I tried to changing like, you know, editing some parts on SEO right here, but actually it wasn't real time to updating it immediately. Maybe so many people are using this platform at the same time because it's in their offer, the lifetime deal. Under here, it shows the publish now, quick schedule or set up emails. So I'm going to click on the publish now right now. If you want to edit changing information or whatever you want to do with this article, then you can just do editing anything you want, editing them and update changes, or you can click on this update button on the top right. Let's go to a live article right now. As you can see, um, my first article has been just published to the website and this is the category that I choose. And when I click on this article here, my headings, my title, the image, and also my text shows everything right here. And this is the subcategory it shows right here. When you click on this menu right here, it's a hamburger menu. Uh, when you click that, this is where you can choose the category. If I create the more categories, actually it's going to show you all different categories right here. When you click on updates again, there is a set up emails. You can go ahead and click that. And this is where offer paid subscriptions to enable it or disable it. 
email newsletters, send an email to subscribers so you can enable it or disable it. Well, for the, this part, I haven't tested yet, so I don't have a lot of things to show you or the explain how this works. So if you want me to try it, leave a comment below that I will create another video for it. When your article is in feature, then you're going to see this little star right here. So you can click this three dots again to unfeature it. As you can see, this yellow star has been disappeared. Now I can delete this one here because I do created my first article. Now is everything's clear. Here's a scheduled. In this page, you can click new story to create another article if you want. If you click on the members, this is where you can set up the subscription again. When you click on your website's name, the test one to three, and you can see the publication settings, customize theme, content model, and go to sites. And these are the sites you have created. For the publication settings, this is where you can add your publication name, edit your name here, and you can add your logo. The default language is English, but they have only one option, English right now, so there's nothing to choose. And I'm not sure if it's a default that the Eastern time, and you can add your publication email, your website's email. This is where you can migrate content by clicking this button here, import content, export content, delete all content. When you click on delete, you can add your password and then click. You're going to delete this one website, test one to three. This is the one I just created a few minutes ago, and it's going to delete only this website. If you want to add a team member, this is where you can add them. Under the integrations, here you can enable the header and footer code, Facebook, Twitter, Google Analytics, and so on. And this is the API. If you have your own domain names, you can edit here. For example, www.google.com, that it's going to give you the A records and C name. If you add, try to add subdomain name, it's going to give you only the C name. Now the next one is the customized theme. When you click that, clicking and upload your logo. When you click the section, actually you're going to see on the left side, there is an option. It's the latest featured or test one. And this button on the right side, you can click it to add a design. For example, if I choose this one here and hit replace, it will switch to the another theme, which is the another design here. Before save anything, make sure you change this logo well because it's not going to switch your logo image to all over your website. So this is the logo you need to change and also here. And on the footer, under the footer, there is a power by story press. So make sure you change that as well. But once you're done everything, you can go ahead and click this publish, build employee changes. Uh, it has updated fully. So as you can see, this is the article I published and also I need to um, publish more articles to show this parts here. This is the menu. And when you click on question mark, and this is where you can contact our support team and help articles show the information. So for example, the sitemap. The sitemap is going to be your domain name slash sitemap index XML. So you can submit the sitemap to your Google console. So I hopefully they have some videos, like some videos to how to use this platform. Um, actually, I tried to figure out what is the desk or um, how I can change the name of the category So I didn't see the, the button right here. It was kind of dumb, <laughs> dumb thing that I, I couldn't find this button right here, but I really hope they have some kind of more articles, documentations to how to use this platform. When you click on this profile picture, then there is an option you can hire experts. If you don't know how to use this platform, you can contact them and asking questions or you can hire someone that who knows the platform better. Now they offer $49 one-time cost for one website, one publication, one website. Or if you want to have multiple different websites, you can choose three publications or you can create unlimited websites. And that's going to be your price and one-time cost. There's no recurring payments and they offer you the 60 days money back guarantee. So you can test it about a month to make sure that your SEO is working well on the Google. And this deal, you'll get the future plus plan updates, GDPR compliance, unlimited collaborators, unlimited storage, unlimited email newsletter subscribers, custom domain, scheduling, the advanced SEO tools, and so much more. Review shows that the users like this platform.
Yeah, people are getting tier three, which is unlimited websites they can create. Yeah, I got this one too. So um, I'm going to keep testing and uploading more articles. If you have any questions or if you want to share any thoughts of this new software, then you can leave a comment right below. Please subscribe to my channel to not missing any other deals. I will keep uploading my honest reviews of new software, new deals.